Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I just want to showcase like the uh, the new updated versions of the uh, full self driving. So as you can see right here, this is the, I think the 12.5.4. So it doesn't require you to put your hands on the steel wheel anymore. Uh, a couple, the day before yesterday, I was on the older version. Every so often, maybe 30, 40 seconds, it asked me to put my hands on the steering wheel just so that they know that I'm awake and I'm paying attention to the road. With this version, what it does is, with the cabin camera, if it notices that I'm looking down or I'm looking at my phone, it will pop up, excuse me, like pay attention. And then it still flashes blue, but it doesn't tell me to grab the steering wheel or put slightly put force to it. So as you see, this version, it also, provide you with the uh, with the smart summit so I haven't had a chance to try it yet but I will and I'm gonna post a video about that as well too but I think this version is very smooth so as you can see the graphics on the monitor is very detailed right so right now I have on the rainbow road and it's uh, it's pretty much drive itself like very it, it, it's not jerking, it's, it's accelerating smoothly, and we'll see how here, see? So, it slows down when other people, you know, get into its lane in front of him, uh, of the car, and right now it's changing lanes. It signals and it changes lane by itself, which is really nice. I think we're almost there, guys, with this version. And, See, it slows down because it's, I don't know if you can see the bus signaling or something, but it slows down. Now it's speeding up just to go past that. So again, anything with the um, with the self-driving, you we can't rely 100% on the system. We always have to be prepared to take sudden, you know, movement, you know, take over the control. But with this one right here, I'm, I'm very comfortable. So far, so good. Yesterday, I had a little bit of issue with the older version where it, it signaled and it, it it couldn't get out of the lane or it, really bad. But now this one, it's a lot better. And it's how we keep to the, the speed limit, you know, which is 65. We can set it to go higher by using the scroll. But, you know, since it's full strap driving, we just leave it, you know, follow the speed limits. And again, it's really good. Very comfortable with it. So, having said this, I think the 8,000 is still a lot of money to a lot of us, you know what I mean? Um, the sweet spot, I would say maybe 2,500 to 3,000. And if it's in that price range, I think Tesla will get a lot of people to purchase FSD, you know, rather than you just put it out there for 8,000 and you hardly get any, maybe 3% of people are actually gonna purchase FSD rather than a lot more, like 30, 40%, you know? But uh, so far, it's, uh, everything is smooth. I don't really have to touch it, and we've been driving, I think, at least for at least eight to 10 minutes already. Uh, prior to this, this version, every so often, I don't know, if you watch the video, I made a really quick point of like, you know, I'll let you guys know whenever it tells me to touch the steering wheel, but this one so far, Earlier, when I looked down into my phone, it actually it flashes blue and tells me to, to pay uh, pay attention to the road. So, but other than that, as you can see, we're about uh, seven minutes from my house. So, I'm very comfortable that it will take me back home safely. So, yeah. So, if you guys haven't downloaded the uh, the latest version, um, whenever Tesla, you know, it Tesla always send you a memo to your vehicle or to your app. And then you can just hit on the, usually wait until you get home connected to a Wi-Fi. Sometimes it tells you about 25 minutes to 55 minutes for the all the downloading, the installations to complete. Um, make sure you have a good internet connection and make sure you're not going to be needing your vehicle within that time frame. One mile, take exit all right, so right now you can see it's changing right lane because we're getting close to the next exit. But other than that, yeah, very, very, very 
comfortable very nice so even with the previous couple version prior to this you know the car drove itself to vegas you know so very very happy so hopefully okay i'm gonna change lane i think the lane's gonna merge you know it's good Keep good distance, as you can see on the monitor, on the, the screens right here. It sees everything around it, pretty much in details. So, when, what is this, I'm choosing, okay. So, when Tesla the says that the, their engineers optimize the hardware three uh, to utilize, in 500 uh, feet, turn uh, you right know, the right FSD for this one, I now think they really need it, because before, Elon said that uh, it's only, going to be good for the uh, the hardware 4 but right now my myself I have the hardware 3 and it, the graphics and everything now it tells me to pay attention to the road because I look down right so oh now it actually tell me to put my hands on okay so this is the first time right so it still requires you to, to put your hands on the wheel but not as often In and if you feet, look away right it's going to remind you hey you know what stop doing other stuff and pay pay attention to the road because safety is very very major now issues turn right onto but as you can Avenue. see it, it does everything it signals it it knows where to go see right here i'm looking at the front too and it still telling me to pay attention i don't know uh the cabin camera's on but okay you want me to put my hands on the wheel no problem Everything looks good. It looks, looks good so far. Slow down. All right, wouldn't even know how to change right lane. No. It actually gonna change lane. So this this is another good thing right here. Very smart. You see that? Because the people, a lot of people are making left turns, so it hold up this lane, and then it actually signal. It actually waited a little bit before making signaling and making a right turn, and they go back into the left lane, which is awesome. You see the graphics here is really really good, guys. It picks up almost everything around in all four corners of the intersections. As far as braking, accelerating, it, it, it does very smooth. It's not jerking, you know? That's something that you want in, um, in a full self driving because some people might have like car signet. So if it accelerates too fast or if it brakes too, sudden you know they, they they can throw up or they vomit or they can complain about it you know what i mean so but as, as far as like this system here it shows you good graphics it does everything by itself it just sit back relax and keep your eyes on the road and it'll take you to from point a to point b and i think elon is uh is on a mission and i think uh, maybe i would say two years three years i think we'll be there All right, guys, so I'm pretty much almost home already. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions regarding about, uh, you know, these uh, the latest up, uh, upgrade from Tesla, uh, leave it a comment below and let me know. Have you tried the, uh, the, the Smart Summon yet? And do you have any issues? And what is your experience with the latest version of the FSD? Do you like it? Do you, do you get the, you know, the, the NAT still? Or it's just me? Or because like from here, like for about 17 minutes, it only asked me to put on the, you know, to grab the steering wheel twice. And that was it. But other than that, everything is good. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Till next time.